Hi, my name is Cam Collier. I'm a graduate of the uh, Faculty of Education. I took the Outdoor and Experiential Education stream and I graduated in 1997. After I had graduated at Queen's on a Friday, I started at Evergreen on Monday. I had worked in education before Queen's to a degree in outdoor education at some centres. And what I found was that uh, a lot of the urban kids weren't connecting. They didn't like being outside, they didn't understand being outside, and so I built a good portion of my career uh, thinking about the redesign of our school grounds and training teachers in outdoor learning. So in my work at Evergreen, I've been able to work with schools all across Canada, teachers all across Canada, training people about uh, learning and teaching and learning outside, about play-based learning for the early years. And I've had a very fortunate opportunity to work with a lot of designers, rethinking uh, the childhood, the child, child's landscape in the city. We're in the Don Valley, in the ravines. And the ravines define Toronto. And we're at an, this was an old brick factory. And uh, it lasted for about 100 years, between the 1880s and the 1980s. And then it was abandoned. And our NGO, Evergreen, came in and reimagined it as this place for sustainable cities, as this place for families and children, as really a community center. So this space we designed called our children's garden doesn't look like every children's garden out there. It's very rough hewn. Uh, there's a lot of challenge here, but there's also attention to the social. You know, there's things like fire here too that we gather around in the winter and, and it's very exciting for all of the students that come. It's a very special place for them. It helped me uh, think about how people learn. And I think that that has been a huge asset for me in my career. Because whenever I walk into a room or managing a group of people or introducing ideas to people, I'm, uh, which I do a lot of, uh, I'm always thinking about my audience. I'm always thinking about where they're at. I'm always thinking about meeting them and do with the different learning styles. All those things about learning that you study when you're at the faculty. I'd have to say that the people at the faculty believed in me. And that's like one of the greatest gifts we can get in our life, right? When somebody believes in you. And you know, at that age, you know, you're still trying to find your way and you don't really know where it's going to end up and you don't know much about the world and how it really works. But I had most of my profs really express this belief in me. And that is a very, very powerful thing. It's a great lesson for us as people and also like as parents, which I am, and, but as educators, young educators in the classroom, like expressing that belief in your students, that confidence in them that they can figure it out, that they can learn, they can overcome their challenges. is a very powerful thing. And I thought the faculty did an amazing job of, of, of not just saying that, but living that while we were there at the faculty. One of the skill sets for me that it came out of the Faculty of Ed uh, may seem strange in some level is creativity. You know, the best of my professors at the faculty were always solving problems multiple ways. We're always presenting unique challenges to us that sparked the curiosity, that ignited your creativity. And that creativity has also been a key ingredient in my career because you know, if, if there isn't a prescribed way, find the way. One of the big lessons I think I started to learn at the faculty and I continued to learn after I left was that sometimes when we're in the teaching profession, we think of ourselves as people that are giving a lot. And we need to. There's a demand to give to our students. And that sometimes that can burn people out. And I think that one of the big ideas for me, and maybe for you too, is that make sure while you're emptying your cup, you're drinking and filling your cup. And that's, the, and that's a way of looking at things. So when you're with students, make sure you're harnessing their energy and taking it in and building your happiness, your own energy and your own motivation, as well as feeling like your only role is to give. Because finding that two-way street in your career is huge for your life, for happiness and for continued motivation throughout your career.